Hey everybody, I'm Jordan of PDU.com. Uh, we have now released the PowerShell scanner, uh, and it can do just about anything. It grabs all the data you want. So I figure for this video, we'll kind of show some of the value that, can, that it can uh, give, give to you. So if you're going to be building one, you want to go Options, Scan Profiles, and we'll choose a new one. We'll name it PS to keep with the naming scheme, AppX Packages, with apparently more capitals than I need. Camel Case Plus. All right, then we'll do Add, and we just go PowerShell Scanner. And you see here, you got you got to name it, uh, AppX, and then it has an option here for file or script. Uh, I prefer to put it as a file over script just because it's user control. We have a video talking about the reasoning behind that on um, best practices. Uh, so instead of <clears throat> typing all that in here, we're just going to open up the ISC and pull up what, what we're working with here. All right, so as you see here, we got the first lines one three is just an if statement. It basically says git command apex package because if that command doesn't exist, it means it's not a Windows 10 machine. There are no apex packages. Uh, I have kind of a snarky comment, but you could have it more realistic. Whatever error you want to throw, if it's not Windows 10, you can put in there and it will it will populate when you do the scan. All right, and so the next part, what we're doing is we're grabbing all packages. So it's just uh, packages equals git apex packages. You can do all users if you don't want to do for a specific user. <clears throat> uh, and then we're going to move down to uh, applications that we're fine with so we don't want to know about. Uh, things like MS Paint, Calculator Note, Edge. Uh, I mean, you might not like Edge, but good luck uninstalling it. So we just added that to our whitelist. <clears throat> From there, we're doing a match. Basically, it's going down each application of what we just grabbed. And if it is not in our list for whitelist, then it goes through and it adds it into a PS custom object. We're grabbing the name and the install location. Uh, the reason we're doing this is we're not actually uninstalling anything, but we're kind of letting you know, hey, here's here's all the ones you may or may not want. And here's where they're located if you want to remove them. Uh, you can do a remove. Just know that if you're doing, if you get and get all users, if you do a remove Apex package, all users flag does not exist unless you're on PowerShell 5.1. So if your machines are on 3.0 or anything earlier than that, then you're only going to remove for the logged on user or as the user that is <coughs> it is running for that, that scanner deployment. All right, and that's pretty much it. It's just one line with Apex package and the rest of it is about maintaining the data. So we're going to save this. In the last user logged on, so Kobe will find this later and be mad at me. And I named it Untitled One, apparently. All right, so now in this <coughs> profile, we're going to hit the ellipses. And what do we say? Last logged on user, Untitled One. We're going to import that in there. We have the scanner name, everything go. We're going to go ahead and save that, and we'll scan it and see if we're getting the data. Eventually. I've lost myself. So scan computers, and then we're going to choose AppX packages. Uh, so while that's running, just <coughs> remember... On this one, at the end, I grabbed everything with GitAppX packages, but then when I collected the data, I only had two fields. Uh, it's probably best to keep that as clean as possible. The more grab, the more data you grab, the bigger database is going to get. So it's just good to uh, kind of have that a uh, little bit controlled. All right, so let's take a look here. And as you can see with that one, we grabbed all these machines. You're not going to see calculator or I guess we have WinStore on this one, but it's, it's just a good way to see these are the Apex packages that showed up and you can decide for yourself if you want them on or off. Uh, remove is kind of a different thing. Uh, we might have something on that later, but we'd recommend using deploy over inventory to do the actual removal. Uh, for pdq.com, I'm Jordan.